Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, coming at you today with a little recap video. I broke a box of Donruss yesterday on release day for the channel. Uh, the first box wasn't crazy. I mean, there were some cool cards in there if you want to go check that out. It was a, it was a typical Donruss opening, I'd say. Um, but I also got a second box to go along with it. I have a little rule or theory or, you know, whatever you want to call it. I get two boxes of uh, most of the stuff that I buy just because I feel like usually I'll get one box and it'll be bad and I'm like man that's unfortunate but usually if I get two boxes there will be one box that's bad um, that you know would, would typically make me not enjoy it uh, and then I'll have a second box that's a lot better and it sort of balances out gives you at least one good experience in your you know, product ripping so did open a second box and it was awesome so I just wanted to share kind of the combined results of these uh breaks in case you guys are thinking about buying any Donruss hobby. Um, I got the Mets game on in the background. I'll try to turn that down. Uh, currently up 1-0 on the Phillies, but uh, I'm going to start off. There's a lot of red parallels you get in here. Um, these are the so the non-rookie ones that I got. I mean, you'll get just a ton of them. Uh, you saw Ian Anderson, Perez, lots of stars, Correa, Ramirez, and I got two of the same Stan Musial reds to 2022. It's pretty cool, so definitely be expecting to get those. You'll probably get a couple decent rookies out of there for the, the numbered parallels. Um, Babe Ruth is actually has two cards in the normal base set. As you can see, I've got three in the background, but uh, you know, for someone that has a side PC of Ruth, this is a pretty awesome rip because he has a Boston Red Sox card as well as a Yankees card. Um, so take a look here. He's got the Red Sox one right there um, and then pulled a couple Yankees in the boxes and then also hit a blue foil of the Boston one. Um, and if you can see in the background, I got the Independence parallel uh, for the Yankees one and then two red borders to 2022, which I thought was really cool. I was really excited to pull those for the collection. I'm always looking to grow that. It's it's pretty tough. He's not in too, too many sets. Um, so then moving on to some of the rookies we got, I went ahead and sleeved some of the better ones and the parallels that we got. Uh, if you look here, the only base ones I've got are uh, Duran, I've got O'Neal Cruz, I've got my boy Tyler McGill, big drip. He's still doing great things on the mound, just started five innings of that combined no-hitter the Mets had. Um, again, I've been big on this guy. Um, I'll say it every time. I think he's a fantastic pitcher. I've loved him since last season when he uh, first came up. Um, I also wish people would stop mispronouncing his name. It's not that difficult. I mean, it's Tyler, but just with an O. So it's still Tyler. And then it's McGill. It's not Taylor. It's not Meagle. It's not, you know, everything else I've heard. Um, so if you're watching this and you don't, you don't know how to pronounce his name, it's Tyler McGill. I promise you can listen to any of the announcers call him that. He'll call himself that. Um, but again, really big on that guy. Uh, Brandon Marsh and Vidal Bruhan. It's kind of our... our base rookies and then uh, lots of parallel rookies like I said if you're looking for a wander if you're looking for another big rookie that you that you like out of this set you have a good chance of hitting some kind of parallel of them uh, I actually didn't hit a single wander in these two boxes so he is a little rare if that sort of entices you to join in on the chase um, I've seen some breaks and I haven't seen many wanders at all uh, so this is what I got got a couple of these blues here we got Colton Welker um, there's a Newt Bar and a uh, nice Seth Beer Blue. I was pretty excited about that one. He's been crushing it. Uh, and then Josiah Gray. That's decent. Uh, and then some of the more rare parallels. We got a couple independents of uh, Otto Lopez and then Juan Yepes for the Cardinals. And then also hit a Juan Yepes Red. Uh, so doubled up on his parallel rookies. And then hit two Cal Raleigh Reds to 2022, which is pretty interesting. So I hit two Stan Musials. I hit two... Uh, Babe Ruth, I hit two Cal Raleigh's, and all the numbering is pretty similar. Like, if you see on these, um, I don't know how well you can tell, that's 620 out of 2022, and this one is, uh, oh shoot, that one's 978, so actually not too similar in that. I forget, is it the Ruth's that are pretty close? I've got a, a 476 on that one, and uh, a 1241. Okay, so never mind. I, I thought there was some weird correlation. Maybe it was just on the stands. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely have a good chance of doubling up on stuff. There's just so many parallels. Um, you're bound to, to find something. Uh, so that was the rookies. And then getting into the, I'll get into some of these numbered cards we got and then the hits. 
Um, so this is kind of combined between the two boxes. You got a nice Trey Mancini to $9.99. These are in, uh, from high, no, highest numbered to lowest numbered. Uh, Chris Bryant, the Arnado Unleashed we hit to $9.99. Uh, Jim Tomei to 500, Max Muncy number. We hit a really nice Stan Musial Unleashed. The second box was kind of a, a hot box for this guy. Like I said, we hit the two reds. Um, I don't know if those are in the same box, actually. We hit at least one. We hit this uh, Unleashed um, right here. We hit something else. I forget. Maybe a, Oh, we hit a uh, nickname short print, uh, Stan the Man. Uh, then we got this nice Elite Series Kyle Lewis red to 149, and then a uh, Jose Ramirez to 75 fire emoji. So pretty uh, low numbered stuff there. That's kind of the less uh, decent numbered stuff we got. Um, so getting into hits, I'm just going to start with box one, and then I'm going to get into box two, which has uh, hits as well as some really, really nice numbered cards we hit. It was far better than the first box I opened. It's, you know, the second box was pretty much everything I could hope for in a Domus box. So I was very, very happy. Um, but if you didn't see the video, first hit, we got an Aaron Judge Relic to 99 with a little bitty little pinstripe in the corner there. Um, and our autographs were Connor Siebold, which is actually our only pitcher auto in two boxes, which is awesome. Um, and then Otto Lopez. So those are our hits. Not crazy out of the first box, but uh, second box was much better in the numbered department. I'm actually going to cover the hits from the second box first because they were less exciting than the numbered stuff, which is, uh, I guess that's good. Um we got Alec Bohm with a pinstripe. He's doing much, much better this season for the Phillies, uh, which I don't enjoy, but I'm sure he does enjoy that, and Phillies fans enjoy that. Uh, first auto was a Greg Dykeman for Chicago. Uh, don't know too much about him, but it is a position player rookie auto. And then best auto we got, uh, in my opinion, this could change, obviously, but it was the last one I hit, and it, I don't know if you can tell who that is. It is Vidal Brujan. So he's been pretty highly touted since Series 1 came out, um, kind of the, definitely in the top five of rookies, but he was in the conversation for top three before the season started. Not sure how he's doing right now, um, but definitely a bigger name this year that you can find. So I was happy to hit at least one auto that I recognize. The other ones I truly don't know too much about. Um, but to get into the rest of the second box, we hit four. Uh, numbered cards that I'm very, very happy with that I would take pretty much over any of the hits from this break. Uh, and these were all in the same box. So this is definitely something you can expect to get out of Donruss, at least in, you know, uh, every other box, maybe. Our first one, this is in order of highest number to lowest number, not necessarily how good I think they are. Um, this is actually my favorite card from the break, and I love, love this insert set. Uh, I posted this on my Instagram um, but I'm so super happy with this. This is a uh, bomb squad. This is just the highest numbered one you can get too. It's to 9.99, but it's a Vlad Jr. bomb squad, and that card is beautiful. I mean, the design is like cartoonish, um, but they do put that crazy refractor uh, effect on it that gives it all kinds of crazy rainbow colors, which I love. Um, I remember seeing the Otani in the preview pictures for this product, and I was really excited. I was hoping they weren't too hard to get. Um, and I guess they're not. I mean, I got one in my second box, so uh, very, very happy with that. It's very cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. I just, I, I think that's a crazy cool card. Um, the next one we got might actually be the best card we got. It's hard to tell right now, but um, this is a rated prospect. This is the only rated prospect I got, and it's this like crazy gold, really nice gold color. Um, with that weird like wave design so it's numbered to 99 and it's of Luis Angel Acuna this is the first card I have of him period I don't have any kind of, you know I don't do a lot of Bowman stuff so I don't have anything uh, of his um, and as you can see on the side there it's numbered uh, well maybe you can see that 60 of 99 just a really cool card I love the gold parallels they have in Donruss they're pretty hard to hit because uh, again they're numbered to 99 um, I saw someone pull the Marvel's insert parallel rookie of Wander Franco in this gold parallel to 99. And I can imagine people paying a really nice uh, nice amount of money for that card because it is gorgeous. So that's the kind of stuff I like to hit on Donruss that those the, the parallels they do really nicely. Um, this second to last one here, this is really for the PC, more of a sentimental card, but it's actually really nice and uh, good timing. Um, this is a... I think it's called an America Parallel. Uh, it's numbered 40 out of 50, one off the jersey number of Tom Seaver. 
really awesome, really good timing. They just unveiled a big statue of him in front of City Field. Uh, passed away in 2020, I believe. Uh, but just a really cool card. I wasn't expecting this one at all. Uh, didn't know he was in the set, but that's 40 out of 50. Really, really nice picture. Uh, really cool parallel. I think that's going to stay with me um, for a while. Definitely a more sentimental card as a Mets fan. Uh, and then our lowest numbered hit from the break. Really, really cool here. Um, I hit one of these. It was a, I think it was called a press proof actually, because it was the one numbered to five, but it looks pretty much the same. Uh, I hit a Sixto Sanchez rookie press proof to five last year. Uh, so I saw the color on this and I knew it was going to be similar. Um, and this is actually a Hall of Famer with 3,000 hits and a career 320 average, which is crazy. Uh, so really cool to hit this one. It's an artist proof numbered 8 out of 10, Rod Carew for the Twins. So a really cool card. They're really low numbered. Nice to hit one of these. Uh, so again, uh, on top of the hits, we got the Brujan Auto in this box. Um, and then we got Carew to 10, Seaver to 50. Acuna to 99 rated prospect and then the beautiful beautiful bomb squad card that I love a lot so that was all from the second box I figured I had to share that one just because the first break had uh, nothing really even close to this amount of good hits so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know if, what you guys think of Donruss this year I'm loving it it's just a nice switch up if you're looking for something fun to break where you can get, you know, you can get all of this in the same box and just have some really cool cards that you enjoy. Um, they don't typically sell for too much, but that's not really the point of it. It's just uh, definitely a collector's set uh, and a good way to pad your collection if you want some nice numbered cards or some uh, a good amount of hits. Um, so again, let me know what you guys think of the product. Let me know how you guys think I did. Uh, maybe like, let me know what your favorite card out of this was. And uh, might break some more in the future. We'll see if I uh, get my hands on it. But I'll try to break on camera if I do. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.